So hi everybody, Craig Hansen here and welcome to my video. Guys, check out the website, craighansengolf.com. Teaching people online from all over the world. And thanks to Michael Field for the use of your video, Michael. We're looking at Tommy Fleetwood here, uh, one of the best ball strikers, if not the best ball striker uh, on the planet. And uh, he's burst from the scene and uh, yeah, it's only gonna be a matter of time before this guy wins a major. Hitting the ball as good as he does, uh, you'd have to think he's the best uh, iron player in the world in the last couple of years. So we're going to get in there and have a look, uh, draw some of my normal lines up there, analyze a little bit, uh, see if we can pick something up. It's a very interesting type of swing here. So that line that I draw up I call the wall, and I'm going to pop one on the head. It's going to have a look at some of the hallmarks of great ball strikers. We can see that he's got a, quite a strong left hand position here with the left hand turned in, looking at a three a knuckle grip, right hand sitting perfectly on the grip shaft and a left arm in one line of extension. Spine angle, you'll be looking at around 84 degrees here, uh, very close to it. And that's also a typical position of a great ball striker at you know, in your impact position with your, well, your address position, I should say, with your irons. Right leg, we're moving up around the 83 to 84 uh, degree area. Let's get in there and have a look at this guy. Why is he hitting it so good? Okay, so what is he doing? So we can see that when he takes away, we can see that the right arm stays quite straight and uh, he'll get this right arm floating a little bit away from, you know, the rib cage. He has got a little bit of width here. You can see that when he takes it back, he doesn't have the classical L position that we often see sort of, you know, in this position here. He's got a little bit more width than that and uh, almost keeping that left arm almost slightly inverted on the way back. Big, big shoulder turn. And we can see that these shoulders have turned well past 90 degrees and manages to keep that left arm, yeah, very straight, almost inverted. So big shoulder turn. Um, a lot of room between the knees and we can see that he's moved downwards with his head and moved downwards and you know, using the ground as leverage moving down into the ground as we see so often with great hitters. Pivot numbers are great. We're looking at the low 80 degrees from the hip up through the back and at the top of the swing we'll be seeing also similar numbers. Great pivot numbers and uh, in a position ready to explode and this is where it gets, it gets interesting doesn't it? He starts to, you'll see him move laterally and downwards. It's almost a combination here of you know a lateral shift. It's a huge lateral shift combined with an opening up of the of the body. And uh, head starts to move further downwards into the ground. And we can see the amount here of lateral movement. It's a tremendous uh, shift here. It has a bit of a unique move with his chin heading into his chest almost like he's saying yes. Uh, keeps a very nice angle, obviously with the you know the angle coming down with the wrists into here, something that a lot of people seem to struggle with, and uh, down and into impact. What a position! Now looking at this this impact position here, we'll be seeing that the head has moved down a lot. We can see that the the inside of the right knee is covering the golf ball. The right knee is down under 60 degrees, which is 54. It's a huge number. We see the amount of shaft lean at impact with this particular iron shot. We'll be looking around, I think it was about 13 or 14, 14 degrees. Okay, so we've got 90 guys from here. And so he's really getting some compression and some shaft lean on that one. When the left hand hits the wall, let's try and get rid of a couple of lines here so that we can we can see that we get a line of compression. We actually see the compression onto the shaft here. Now, as we know, so many great hitters move their head down. It's just that has actually been ripped that shot, hasn't it? I mean, when you have a look at that through impact, you can see that the, the left arm and the shaft are in one line. We can see a curve in the back of that right wrist. Um, tremendous amount of lateral movement and uh, even right through into here he still has you know, so much an extension line from the forearm back into the shaft I mean it's just not even close to being flipped it's just it's just definitely one of the best uh, impact positions and uh, post impact positions in the world uh, he just abbreviates the follow-through and just just it's some amazing shots this guy 
really, really has um, some unbelievable uh, moves uh, in his swing and, uh, and through the ball. It's also very interesting to, to look at. I mean, he has that right elbow position uh, from the top of the swing, a bit like a la Ben Hogan. You'll see that the right arm will you know, sort of tend to come in this way, this right elbow. You'll see at the top, I'll just pop a line in here and we'll have a check this out. You can, whoops, just click on the right thing there, Craig. All right, so we get this sort of position at the top. And then you'll, you'll actually see that the right arm will be, you know, move down into this type of position here. So this, this elbow is, you know, pushing inwards, which is helping, you know, flatten this plane out. And it just gets such a, an unbelievably low and uh, shallow entry into this golf ball and uh, you know when he comes down into here you'll see that the obviously there's quite a bit of you know movement movement going downwards even with the driver and the hips opening up and you'll see him pull pull these knees back in inwards and behind him and really has some you know massive amount of lowering with the head there and look at that and this is what I love here when you when you see this position through the ball here you can just sort of see the neck tilt on the side you know you see that neck tilt you see this the V position of the legs I mean how good does that look you know the hand position here at the top of the right wrist moving in this fashion this one breaking back not over released just pure Anyway, guys, there's Tommy Fleetwood. Uh, what a ball striker. I uh, hope you enjoyed the video, and we'll see you next time.